Okay, this is for those of you who've been bad-mouthing Tony Ferguson. You probably already know this, but not a lot of people can actually take punches from a guy like Justin the way Tony did. The amount of punches Tony took, most of the fighters would have been flat out on the ground. This guy is an animal. I don't know if his bone structure is different, if he has some, I don't know, extra amount of calcium, or maybe his skull is made of titanium. Who knows? But the fact that he was able to get hit so hard in all those rounds from a guy like Justin is unbelievable. And to all those who are talking smack about Tony and all the social media, just how many punches can you take from a guy like Justin before you're stiff on the ground? Let me guess, not even one. The man gave so many entertaining fights and he has this setback and you think you're entitled? Take a good look at yourself in the goddamn mirror. I get it if it's just constructive criticism. But you entitled retards have to talk smack. And some of you had a problem with Israel because he was running away from Romero because he wanted to dodge punches. And now when Tony stays there and takes all those hits, you're complaining? Give me a break. Tony had two weight cuts. Two goddamn weight cuts. You think it's a joke? He was supposed to fight Habib. And so he was sharpening his ground game with Eddie Bravo. And all of a sudden it got cancelled like a curse. And he had to retrain for Justin again. His body was completely worn out with all that training. Can you emulate that shit? No, you can't. Can you even do a five minute high intensity workout? I don't think so. Again, this is to those who are talking smack about Tony. And one more thing, he was poked in the eye. I'm not sure if it's accidental or intentional. He was poked. But Justin was quick enough to apologize. And it adds up. And it all adds up. Now, before you think it was just a night poke, look what happened to Stipe. And don't even get started on this. Oh, this MMA sport is brutal. The fighters gotta take criticism. No, you're the type of guys who'd use a friend and backstab him when you no longer need him. And some of you were complaining about Tony being a bad sportsman for shoving away Justin. No, that was an instinctive reaction after getting smashed in the head for all those rounds. But then he was man enough to go and hug Justin again. He accepted his loss, pulled himself together, and hugged Justin. 